Now that you are in a deep trance, we are going to give you a trigger, or reinforce it if you already have it. The trigger phrase is I am a horse. If you use this trigger phrase, or if someone that you are okay with triggering you says the trigger phrase you are a horse, you will undergo the transformation that you are about to experience again at whatever speed you want. Additionally, you will instantly turn back into a human if you use the reset phrase I am not a horse, or if someone that you are okay with resetting you says the reset phrase you are not a horse. Now your transformation will begin. First, feel a tingling sensation over your entire body as a short coat of soft and thick fur starts to grow, consuming any hair that you have as it does so. Most of your fur is dark brown, but the fur on your hands and feet is white, while the fur on your lower arms and legs is black. Additionally, long fur grows in a straight line that goes all the way down the center of the back of your neck. The line of fur is half an inch wide and a very dark shade of brown, with each strand of fur being a foot long. Then, your face starts to stretch out to form a long muzzle. As this happens, two things change. The first is that your nose disappears and your nose holes move to the top left and top right corners of the front side of your muzzle, stretching downwards as they do so so that they are half as tall as the front side of your muzzle. The other change is that the fur on the front half of your muzzle changes color. Halfway back it is still dark brown, but the further forwards it gets the paler it becomes until the end of it is nearly grey. Next, your muscle memory changes, making it so that when standing or walking or even jumping, you have to rest your weight on your toes, bend your feet up as much as possible, and crouch your legs. While your altered muscle memory already makes walking and standing like this easy, it is made easier by your lengthening feet and shrinking lower legs. They change size at the same rate until your lower legs are as short as your feet used to be and your feet are as long as your lower legs used to be. These changes combined with your altered muscle memory make walking and standing on your toes or walking digitigrade as it is called, feel completely natural to you, as if you have done it for your entire life. That being said, your muscle memory and your legs and feet won't actually change, but you will be incapable of not perceiving yourself as having a digitigrade leg and foot structure. Now, feel a pulling sensation at the base of your spine as your tail starts to grow. It is only half as wide as your arms are, and quickly comes to a rounded point at the end of it. The tail as well as the thick fur on it, are both two feet long, with the fur being a very dark shade of brown just like the fur on your neck. After that, feel your toes merging and changing shape so that they form a continuous curve between the left and right sides of each of your feet. Each of these curves are as long as your longest toe was, and is angled upwards and inwards 30 degrees. Once your toes have finished reforming into hoofs, they become a hard and durable white material. Next. Your ears move to the top of your head, taking on the shape of the top half of hollow 3D ovals that have been cut in half. While their shape changes, their height and width stay the same. Even though your ears have changed considerably, your hearing is just as good as it had been before your transformation began. In fact, you will even find that your hearing seems to be much stronger in the directions that your ears are facing. You will be able to rotate them straight forwards in the direction of the side of your head that they are on, and anywhere in between. In reality, your mind will just pay a lot more attention to sounds in the directions that they are facing, and less attention to sounds in the directions that they aren't facing, causing sounds in the directions that they are facing to seem louder while ones from other directions seem to be quieter. However, you will be completely unaware that this is what is happening. Finally, the effects of this hypnosis file will become inactive if they are a risk to your physical body or your well-being, if they are a risk to your social or professional life, if there is an emergency that they would prevent you from dealing with to the best of your abilities, or if they are a risk to your mental health. Also, any effect of this hypnosis file that was an issue will become active again once it no longer will be one. Additionally, you will never find this hypnosis file or the effects of it to be even slightly addicting. Now you have been transformed into an anthro horse, your mane flowing long and proud. This session is almost over, so goodbye, my dark-furred friend.